get to. Um, what are you looking for? I think I'm looking for my card. Did you see? No, that's not it, babe. That's, oh, there it is. Thank you, darling. Okay, so look at your screen right now. This is going to be a six-piece uh, giant margarita mix begonia. And I promised you guys I would um, let Devin explain to you guys why they call this a margarita mix. It's not what you think. These break down to, though, value-wise, is $2.76 per bulb. Just so you know, these are easy to grow, and they flower for basically forever. And it's a mm -hmm. huge flower, and you have a long, long bloom time with it, too. Uh, these are new. They're at a sale price. Uh, the five easy payments do go away at the end of the day. And it's the first day ever on five easy payments with, five, with uh, free shipping and handling. You typically are used to a much smaller, when I say begonia, and you're looking at your screen going, oh, yeah, I, I know begonia. No, you don't. You don't know Not these. Not like these ones. Not until we yes. show you and compare them to what you're used to seeing because you cannot gauge the size of these on your television without a side-by-side, -side, which we're going to do. Yes. All right, first and foremost, though, Devin, um, tell me why these are called the uh, giant margarita. Because yes. they make you want to have a little fiesta. No, they don't. You want to have a fiesta? Okay, so margarita, it's kind of a play on word, um, and it refers to the, the idea that uh, all, of the, all of the begonias in this collection have a beautiful edging around the outside of the flowers, a gorgeous red or orange edging, which makes them look like they're having a fiesta in your garden. <laughs> and I love the begonias. Everyone loves begonias right. because they're one of the easiest plants to grow. Um, but most of us are familiar with little Dutch begonias that look like this. They're gorgeous, but this is about the size that this plant will ever get to. Um, so it, it's it's not, you well, know. the flowers too are the biggest one is about the size of a quarter. Yes, but in this collection, yeah. all of the begonias will be about <laughs> this size. Look at that. I told you. This is huge. And this is huge <laughs> color in your shady garden. In the this shade garden. This is honestly probably my favorite collection for adding huge swaths of color in your shady garden. Now, and shade, wait, back me up now. Shade garden, you yes. don't, it's typically, you can put a hosta in there. Right, or some other uh, sort of greenery. You know, you got your not ferns. Not color like this. Not color like this. And this is color fast. These, when you plant them, these will be blooming in about 70 to 80 days. Wow. So that's like the end of July, they'll start to bloom, and they're gonna bloom all the way uh, July, August, September, into October and sometimes even into November, depending on where you live. Wow. And in this collection, you're getting six different beautiful bulbs. Um, so what I okay. have planted in this container, this is two of your bulbs planted after, you know, just a couple months. Wow. So you can imagine with six of these bulbs, you will start to really create some beautiful color in your shady garden. What kind of colors are we getting in the six that you're giving yes. me? Yes, so we have a, a beautiful assortment of different whites and yellows and oranges and pinks and reds, and they all have that that gorgeous edging around the sides, which makes them really just kind of illuminate in the garden. Okay, now we're calling this an annual, but you told me earlier you can dig up the bulb yeah. and bring it in. That's what I do. Okay, yes. you don't want you just don't want it saturated and sulking in the dirt and all that. Right, absolutely. When when the first frost comes, basically you just go out to your garden, you dig them out, and then you put them in and inside if it's the in, home. If you have them in a pot, you just bring just the bring pot the whole in. pot inside. Okay, and you're done. Yeah, and you know the begonia. What I love about the begonia, it was my grandma. Roberta, I called her Gaga. This was my grandma Gaga's favorite The original bulb. Lady Gaga. The original it's Lady Gaga. She had this <laughs> huge oak tree that she could see from her kitchen window, and she planted begonias all around that large <laughs> oak tree. Nothing else would grow but these. But she planted these because when she was getting older, she had some knee issues, which meant it was hard to bend down and hard to plant stuff. So she would plant all of these begonias, and, and they're as easy as you take your bulb, um, you basically just kind of nestle it in there, just like that. I like to plant a few of them in one container. What are you going, container. about an inch deep? Yeah, That's about, it. about an inch deep, and then you just cover it with some soil. Yeah. You give it some nice water, and then in about 70 to 80 days, this pot is gonna turn into something wow. that looks like this. Wow. So your bulbs that you planted today in 70 to 80 days are gonna look like this. Yeah. They're some of the fastest growing plants and they're gonna bring gorgeous amounts of color mm -hmm. with huge five to seven inch wide flowers in yeah. that shade. So let me just back up again here because I always talk about building memories for your kids, your grandkids. Here's one right now. One of the grandkids yeah. had a total memory. He painted the pictures if we were there with him of him and his grandmother and her begonias. I mean, it's amazing, you guys, and that it's an imprint. You're leaving an imprint on that kid's soul 
in their mind and on their heart, when you garden with them, Absolutely. when you leave them these memories, you are with them forever. That's why you do things like this. Yeah, you know, and it, it is truly, the memories are really incredible. I know growing up, I didn't want to garden. I hate it. My <laughs> parents would drag me out to go pull those weeds. <laughs> but now it's like every time Great. I pull a weed, I were, I'm, I'm transported back to that that darned raspberry patch we had, <laughs> which was covered with thorny raspberries and tons of weeds. But the, the memory of that is what is so uh, it is. It's good. So wonderful. Yeah. It's, and yeah. And this is a plant that's going to create memories because you've never seen a begonia like this before. Never. Look at that picture. That, that is what I'm talking about. You see all of the edges around the outside of those petals. That's the margarita. That is what, that's the margarita. It, it's like a fiesta in the garden. Uh, now I get it. Maybe get some chips and salsa. Now there. you get it. I'm in there. Some guacamole, will you make some? <laughs> yeah. Greek Even style. Do you guys do Greek style? You do Greek style. I don't know. I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping there is such a thing. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm just going to show you. Oh, wait, are we going to take a look at the, the ones that are there? Or? Yes. Okay, what, what are we seeing? I love it in containers. The way that I grow begonias personally, I grow these in a window box um, <laughs> because they just kind of, they plump up and they just, go, yeah. Look, All this right. is bigger than my face. And I have a, uh, a like, big head. Like a big face, an abnormally <laughs> large face. For a large and brain. <laughs> I think I got, God gave me that because I had extra big teeth to fit in there. Um, yeah, yeah, give me these, Devin. Totally. Which do you want in your garden? This one or this one? Come one on. flower is bigger than the whole plant. You know you want this one. I know. I love I it. I want too. it. I know I do. Five easy payments on that. It's, um, such a, it's such an incredible value today. This is truly a, you know, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Get three or four of these collections. Fill out your shady garden with yeah. color this year for the first time. Shady garden with color. I'm all in with uh, that, Devin. Don't forget the easy pay does go away at the end of the day. Cracks me up. Okay. Oh, there's Uncle Eric. I love him. He's so nice.